Now, several challengers have come close to edging out Don Pike in our one-hole contest at Glenelg, but so far, he's been unbeatable. Hey guys, uh, welcome uh, to the Glenelg Golf Cup once again for the Optus One Hole Challenge and I'm joined here today by Channel 7 sports reporter and presenter Theodoropoulos. Welcome Mikey. along Theo. Thanks for having me. Well it's nice to be on the uh, other side of the interview for once. <laughs> it's actually comfortable having you ask me the questions instead of some of the garbage I dish up to you. No, nah, that's fine, that's good. <laughs> now we've obviously uh, a bit of golf in. Now you are a golfer, I, I know that from a, for a fact. Take so it very seriously. Do you? Okay, well we'll see how we go. That that's, actually looks amazing. That's pretty good. Oh, it's on. On though. It's, it's on. It's on there. It's covered the flag. Righto. Right, that's all right too. Oh, that's on as well. Yeah, that's on. She. Now, what? Theo. Yes. Your former former career as a cricketer. Yep. Obviously played at both WA and South Australia. Yep. But I'm interested in your test career. Oh, yeah, right. That was very short lived. A bit of dumb luck to be honest, Bikey. Right yep. place, right time. So the beauty of the situation was I'd just been dropped from the WA team, so I was really thrilled to go and play a bit of right. great cricket. So, got a call, would you mind going down to the Wacker? So instead of making some runs and trying to get my WA spot back, I had to ditch that game and go and lob at the Wacker. Australia were playing the West Indies. I hadn't been at the ground more than five seconds and Nathan Horrocks come off with gastro, so I had to run onto the field. Mitchell Johnson runs in and bowls a half volley to Solomon Ben and he proceeds to hit an absolute tracer bullet straight at my chest. Sure enough, the ball hit me in the chest, left a C mark right down the middle of my my torso there and I was picking it up off the deck. Now that, that's the first ball you were on the ground, correct? The very first ball. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Right out of the middle of the bat and out of the middle of the hands. The, the story has a happy ending. It does. Because you eventually got it, correct? It's one of the great redemption stories. So Simon Kadic said, look, you don't look too comfortable here, champion. And then Solomon Bent, he ended up hitting Mitch Johnson for consecutive sixes. Deep backward square, just sort of licking my wounds. Ben flicks one. It was a foot outside off stump and I'm behind square. And it, I promise you this, as soon as he hit that second one up in the air, I thought, oh, thank Christ for that. I've got this. I was, okay, so I was very comfortable. Michael Clark came up to me and he said, you're lucky you caught that one, son, because if you didn't, you would have been on the receiving end of Ricky Ponting's karate chop, and that's not nice. Cool. All right, well, we've got a couple of putts for two here, which is good, so... We're far closer than I thought we'd be. Let's, let's see what happens. Well, that looks all right. Oh, that's oh, better than all right. Wow that is better than all right. Wow wee. I'll give that's you embarrassing. That. We don't need to see that one in. Beautiful. Well, you haven't seen me putt before. No, that's all good. Thanks for joining me today, Theo. Pleasure, mate.